So I'm Mark Vichelli, I graduated class of 1975 at St. Mary's College. I live in San Francisco and I'm the owner of the Flower Market Cafe. <laughs> This little coffee shop that was on Chestnut Street, which was about a block from our house, um, was being sold or they had just closed. It simply was closed. And I had inquired uh, the woman who had run it, had been there from age 13 and was selling it at age 53. Her name was Colleen. And I used to go there as a child. And she informed me that she was getting married and she was finally giving up the business. And it's kind of a foggy you know, my memory is a little foggy, but what I do know is that within about two hours, I ended up owning the lease on that space, um, having never been in the restaurant business. Didn't really realize what I had done at the time, but um, I was the owner uh, in late two, uh, 1976. And then in 1986, which was about a year after the remodel, a childhood friend of mine who went to St. Ignatius with me, he uh, told me about this old restaurant in the, San, in the historic San Francisco Flower Mart. I had never really come to the Flower Mart. The only time I had ever passed this, this space was on the way to 49er Games with our family. So I didn't really know what was going on and he invited me down one day and he wanted to know if I could turn this space into the same type of restaurant that I had in the marina, which was a very welcoming restaurant for everybody and anybody, you know, just the UPS driver and professional athletes and anybody and any, anyone who wanted to come in. And I looked over the space and I saw the parking lot and I saw that it was in the floral mark with a freeway and near the Hall of Justice and it was kind of a no-brainer. But uh, that transitioned me from a small restaurant to a much larger space. In 2000, when we saw the beginning of the, the tech boom, the first tech boom, it, um, we really had to switch gears quickly because there was a lot of construction that, that happened at that time and a lot of the PDR establishments that we had right in our, within a four block area were all knocked down and converted to tech. Pets.com, web, you know, web van, and they would come for grab and go stuff. So there was a big change in our customer profile. You know, many of the San Francisco Giants, uh, some of the Warriors, people, the Warriors come in. And again, we wait until they want to know who we are and what our story is. And a lot of it is actually generated from all the little clippings and things that we have in this bar. And that's actually a stimulated discussion, which has then led to friendships. Um, James Patterson, the author, has mentioned us in the book here. Um, and again, you know, we you know, a lot of tech people. You know, the the co-founders of Pinterest come in every single day, and come in every single morning and sit at the counter. And um, it's been fun. But then, as I started to turn the corner in the restaurant business, and I was allowing myself a little bit more free time, I, I reconnected with a very good friend of mine, Brent Rossi, who was a freshman when I was a senior. We were the we played number one doubles together, and our friendship grew. And he knew, you know, he had a direct connection to St. Mary's, to the tennis program, and of course when Randy Bennett came in, and that's kind of how I got back. But there was something about the Christian brother experience from the moment I went over to visit my brother Michael all the way through graduation. I still see Brother Mel at all the basketball games. He wants to know about my family. He wants to know about the restaurant. It's just an incredible, all en enveloping, you know, arms around you. Not that you needed it, but it, it, it made life really, really easy at St. Mary's.